focus and then all that much. So we're gonna focus. I wasn't in focus this whole time. There we go. So we just wash it out with warm water. I don't know why I'm holding my phone like that. Do y'all know that I got halfway done with the video? And I realized I wasn't recording. Y'all know that? Hmm? This bottom got no more water in it. This bottle has no more water in it. Welcome to part two of how to get waves, ladderless edition. We're gonna do this right this time. I got y'all, I can't let y'all, I got y'all. Just let me go get some more water real quick. Just let me, just let me go get some more water. I want y'all to have this information so bad that I'm gonna redo the whole entire video for y'all. I'm gonna re-scramble, I'm gonna redo everything. So <clears throat> in the midst of the video, my bar soap actually got broken, so I guess y'all just didn't get to see that part. Um, this is actually from Wavy Faith. This was the clay three-in-one bar, I'm pretty sure that it's called, but it's still busting just the way that it is. Don't get it twisted, all right? We're using it to the bone. All right, so boom. <clears throat> After you get your hair like soaking, you really want your hair to be soaking wet when you first start. Um, get your bar soap, get any type of soap, shampoo, whatever you're gonna use. Honestly, this is what you could get right here. It don't matter what type of soap you got in that bathroom right now, go grab it, get you some olive oil from your kitchen, get some of that and put that in your hair right now and scrum it around with me. You about to get some waves. I'm about to get the last of my hibiscus 12 and one from that wavy faith. I don't care if I get the herbs in there, I'm brushing them in too. What I was explaining in the other video before I got really interrupted by the video not actually actually being the video, um, there's four angles that you want to start with when you first start getting waves. So I'm going to show you those four angles and um, everything should make sense after that. When you're doing a washing style, your hair is easiest to move. That's why you want to brush your hair in these four angles. Because when you brush your hair in these four angles after scrambling your hair, it's going to lay those curls down that just curled up from that hair. And being that your hair is wet, it's going to be easiest to move. So therefore, you can lay those curls down how you want them to. And that pattern is going to, you know, form. Um, so once you do that, once you get those four angles down basic, you wanna brush in that area and do that about four different times. And after you do that about four different times, that's when you wanna go ahead and do it across your entire head. And you wanna section off your hair in those four areas and brush your hair like that. So I'm gonna show you all and we about to get busy. Wait, 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 wait. I apologize, y'all. I did something wrong. Do not, do not, I repeat, do not. Go like this when you're brushing your hair when you first start. I'm sorry, y'all. It's a bad habit, but it's something that you can do once you really learn these angles. But you really just want to use whatever side that you're brushing on, use that hand that you're brushing with. And remember, brush slow is going to stretch out your waves, which is going to enhance them. The second thing 
is you want to vertical breast, but that's going to come in a later episode. But remember that. Because if you start doing that now, when it comes later, it's going to bust even harder, I'm telling you. The temperature of your room really matters in the washing style. If you have a cold room, you're most likely going to be able to keep your hair wet longer. If you're in a warm, humid, hot room, you're most likely going to not be able to keep that water in your head as long as you would like. So remember that when you're doing a washing style. When you're doing a washing style, always remember to keep your hair wet as long as possible. Always add water. You don't need soap as much as you need water when you're doing a washing style always add water and if you're really not giving nothing if it's really not giving any lather at all you want to go water first oil second a little bit of soap last that's always the formula that's going to work The purpose of this washing style really is the real washing style. That first washing style was really just a pre-wash, even though in that washing style, I also did do a pre-wash before I recorded it. But the point is, when you're doing a washing style, the, the, less, the less you have in your hair, the more it's going to lather. So that being said, the more washes that you do, the more lather that you're going to get because there's like literally no dirt. When something's clean, it lathers up more. So by me saying that, my first washing style was just to get like basically all the dirt out your hair, mostly. It's also going to set in your pattern as well. And it's going to help train your hair, like I said in the beginning. But you wash that washing style out with warm water and then you do this washing style. This washing style is going to hit way harder because your pores are open more from that warm water. And when you put those oils in there, it's going to lather up way more. Being that it lathers up way more, it's going to help sit your pattern a lot better. Um, and then after that, you wash it out with cold water at the end, like I'm gonna show you. 